Good evening. Campaigners fighting to save Scotland's busiest Coast Guard station from closure have been holding a rally in Greenock. The UK government plans to close the Clyde facility at the end of next year with the loss of 31 jobs. Protesters have accused the government of saving money rather than lives. Laura Bittle reports. This is their last chance to make a public plea. The Clyde Coast Guard is one of eight under threat. Last year, it was credited with saving over 500 lives. And today, they gathered in Greenock to try to make the government think again. Uh, we've had occasion to use the Coast Guard very recently, and uh, we think the local aspect of having them here on the riverside is very, very important. If they go ahead with the closure, my next chance is I would not vote for them. I think it's beyond the joke. Clyde is Scotland's busiest station. Fourth Coast Guard is also under threat. Between them, they say they save on average one person per day. This is just a part of the coastline which campaigners say would be left unprotected. The UK government wants to close eight Coast Guard stations across the UK. They say it will save seven and a half million pounds. The Clyde Coast Guard operation would be moved to Belfast, but campaigners here say they're putting money before lives. We are the largest Coast Guard district for a reason. We are the busiest for a reason. And it is wrong that the people of the west coast of Scotland should be devoid of a Coast Guard station. The UK government say these plans are about modernising the service. They are consulting on the changes, a process which ends in under two weeks. People here know they have few chances left to have their voices heard. Rescue our Coast Guard, rescuing me. Laura Bicker, Report in Scotland, Greenock.